Hey, today we are going to learn how to value intangible assets of an entity using CIP method. Valuation of intangible is especially important when we are trying to value a company under asset-based valuation method. Under asset-based valuation model, you know, value of entity is derived from its asset base. Here, value of the company should be equal to the value of all the assets that the entity owns. However, there is one major problem. And the problem is intangible assets. You ask me why? Because many of the intangibles are not measured and are not shown in the statement of financial position of the company, such as research, the brand of the company, and the reputation. So these are the intangible assets that are not shown in the face of the statement of financial position. And thus, the asset-based valuation is incomplete. But you do not need to be frustrated so soon so fast. Rather, what we can do is value the intangible assets under CIV model and complete the missing piece in your valuation. Here goes basic principle behind this valuation. Our basic assumption is that if two companies are from the same industry and have same asset base, then they should generate same amount of profit. However, in reality, we often see that one company is generating significantly higher profit than the other entity despite of having equal asset base. Well, an entity's profit generating capacity may largely fluctuate depending on the intangibles that are hidden from the plain side. Therefore, we quantify the excess return and attribute present value of it to the intangible assets not shown on the statements. Here is the detailed method of how we do this in practical world. First off, take average capital employed of your company over past three years or so. Then take average PBIT of your company over past three years or so. After that, you need to obtain industry average ROCE. Then you need to apply industry ROCE on your asset base to calculate industry standard earnings on your asset base. After that, deduct industry standard earnings from your PBIT to quantify your excess return. Next, make your excess return after tax. Finally, discount your after-tax excess return using your WACC back to the present value to approximate your intangible value. Let's put it into an exercise so you learn it better. For the exercise, we are going to use this formula. Here, present value equals to CF1 by R, where R is the rate of discounting. In our case, we are going to use WACC. Now, as you have learned the formula, let's get to the business. Let's read the requirement. Calculate the fair value of Juice Incorporation's intangible assets. Juice Incorporation is trying to value its intangible assets and has decided to use the CIV method. Details for Jews over the last three years are as follows. We have profit before interest and tax of Jews Incorporation for the last three years. If we make an average, then we get $360 million. 
dollar per annum. Similarly, we have tangible asset base of Jews Incorporation given for last three years. Again, we will make an average and we will get 15, 30 million dollar per annum on an average. On next, it says current return on assets ratio in the industry is 20% and Jews WACC is 8% and tax rate is 30%. No growth is expected in the excess return whatsoever and we need to calculate fair value of Jewel Incorporation's intangible asset. Industry is standard return and that is equals to our asset base 1530 multiplied by return on assets ratio in the industry 20 percent equals to 306 million dollars after that we need to calculate excess pbit that our entity is generating and that is equals to our PBIT minus industry standard return. That is 360 minus 306 equals to 54 million dollars. Now as we have calculated excess PBIT, we need to make it after tax. After tax excess return that is equals to 54 multiplied by our tax rate is 30 percent so we need to make it 70 percent to make it after tax and that is equals to 37.8 Finally, we need to discount our excess return to the present value. Here we are using this formula, present value equals to CF1 by R. In place of CF1, we put 37.8 and in the place of R, we put our WACC 8%. And the answer is, for 72.5 million dollars. That is how you can use CIV to value your company's intangible assets based on only a few information that are readily available. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have learned a thing or two. If this video was helpful to you, you can show the gratitude by subscribing to this channel and sharing this video, which may help others too. I am Mahfuzur Rahman and I will see you again in another video.